Now let's take you live to Seattle's Greenwood neighborhood in the rain. Investigators tonight continue combing through piles of rubble after an explosion flattened three businesses and does it damaged dozens of others. We know that a natural gas leak was the cause, but figuring out what sparked it, that is going to take days. So will the cleanup in the heart of the Greenwood neighborhood. Tom Yaswinski is at the scene tonight. He's going to walk us through the destruction there. And Tom, these crews out there have a long job ahead of them, and it's fortunate as bad as it was, it wasn't worse. That's right. I'm going to paint a picture for exactly what we're seeing out here right now, David. So crews have been on scene all throughout the day, and they will be here all night long, and they're guarding this pile of rubble. I'm going to step out of the way so you can get a closer look. This is where three small businesses once stood. Firefighters estimate the damage to be about $3 million. And now Mike, the photographer, is going to pan down and show you that police have actually blocked off a two block radius to preserve the area. So when inspectors return back to the scene tomorrow, this entire thing can be preserved and they can find out exactly what happened here in Greenwood. We could have died. Easy. Tim Pipes witnessed the massive explosion from across the street in his bar, the Angry Beaver. Hands down in my mind, if there was one person out front smoking a cigarette, even just standing out there getting a gulp of fresh air, they'd be dead for absolute 100% sure. A force so powerful, it shattered his windows and knocked the drywall from the ceiling. At the time, you have no clue in your head. It, 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 uh, it, it, for all we knew right off the bat was it was a bomb. I mean, it was that furious. It was that forceful. Find the fire! Then chaos. Firefighters responded to a report of a natural gas leak just after one this morning near Greenwood Avenue North and North 85th Street. As crews search for the source of the leak, the explosion ripped through Neptune Coffee, Greenwood Quick Stop, and Mr. Euros. Uh, to give you perspective, look at these photos from above. Debris scattered all over the place. Kind of a shock to come to for sure. Chris Maycutt and the staff at Choco Canyon Organic Cafe are picking up shattered glass. The blast across the street blew out every window. There's an explosion that big in the middle of the day here with the bus stop there, people here, people on the streets, people in those businesses. There, you know, we'd be looking at a whole lot of death here right now. Seattle Fire investigators ruled the explosion accidental, but still don't know what ignited the natural gas. The Utilities Transportation Commission and the Seattle Fire Department are interviewing witnesses and inspecting gas lines. Uh, we'll be doing a post-incident analysis, and so what we'll do is we'll look at this entire incident and figure out what can we learn from it. A crew with the NTSB will arrive tomorrow to help in the investigation. The city today pledged help for the neighborhood to rebound and rebuild. At the end of the day, stuff's replaceable, buildings can be built, you know, but, uh, but lives are precious. Now, Tim Pipes, the owner of the Angry Beaver, described this entire block as a tight-knit family community, and there is already a fundraiser planned to help a lot of these small businesses out. It's at Naked City Taproot Theater tomorrow. Proceeds will go to help these businesses rebuild from the rubble. We're live in Greenwood. Tom Yaswinski, Q13 News. And Greenwood Avenue is a major arterial in North Seattle. It's still closed to traffic tonight from 83rd to 85th Street. This is what the neighborhood looked like before the blast. And then take a look at this. This is what it looks like now at 85th. It's just stunning to see the two images there and the difference in them. Marnie? Yeah, incredible. It doesn't look like the same place. We want to put this massive blast in perspective for you. Nobody was seriously hurt, which is amazing when you look at that. It is quite possibly because of the time that it happened. Think about it. Early this morning versus the middle of the day when those businesses and that entire area is full of people. Nine firefighters were hurt. I can't get this image of this guy out of my head. Not badly, though. He clearly is shaken. Our photographer on scene moments after this blast caught that firefighter with the blood running down his head. Again, they're all okay. Seattle's fire chief said late today that is because of two things. The firefighters protective gear helped prevent severe injuries and their decision to follow protocol by waiting for PSE to shut that leak off. Our photographer Brian Howard was at that scene moments before it blew up. It just exploded and I mean I took off running and but when I turned back around there was uh, like debris like just coming down from the sky. Uh, it's probably one of the scariest things I've ever encountered. And Brian tonight smiling. He's shaken, but he is thankfully okay. 
And a lot of people tonight are asking, how safe are my pipes? Matt Lorch joins us with how to get some answers. Matt? Well, Marnie, many of us live in older homes and work in older buildings, so here's what you need to know. Under federal law, utility companies are responsible for their gas lines, but the lines that run from the meter to the home, those are the owner's responsibility. Now, you can hire a contractor to check out the safety of those pipes. They actually do a, a check on the pressure, and I looked into it. It typically runs between $200 and $600 for an inspection. Knowing many people could be worried about their pipes, Puget Sound Energy had this to say. Gas is very safe. It's in millions of homes every day. But as we see this morning, if it is a gas leak, that can be dangerous. That's why it's really important for everybody to know what to do, the signs of a gas leak, the smell of gas, and the safe way to handle it if you suspect you do have a gas problem. With that said, let's talk about the warning signs of a gas leak. Watch for bubbles around your home with your lines or connections. Listen for a hissing sound. Check for dead plants around your place. And know this, if any of that is going on, leave immediately and call 911. As we learned today, it can quickly turn dangerous. According to the federal government, from 2004 to 2013, gas pipeline explosions killed 105 people and injured 425 others. Here in the U.S., Marnie. An important warning tonight, Matt. Well, we will continue to push for answers in this case into what caused the blast and also talk to businesses about the cleanup and the important next steps. Stay with Q13 for updates throughout this newscast. And if you'd like to see a closer look at some of the images and video we have from out there in Greenwood, you can go to Q13Fox.com.